Let's give it a try right now. Ah! What the fudge? Oh no. Yo, where's my... Guys, I think my gun just fell to the ether. I am so salty as fuck right now. Welcome everybody to Goner. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and this right here is a game I've been watching for a very long time now, and I finally have a playable version of the game here available to us. This comes out on Steam on the 11th, so this video should be going live a little bit before that, a little bit of a preview for us to check out here. I took this out for a spin already, really, really fun title, so many secrets. This game reminds me a lot of a uh, Spelunky in a sense, where the concept of Spelunky is very basic get from point A to point B. Goner is very much like that, however, along the way there's a ton of secrets and a ton of little obstacles in the way for you They kind of have to kind of either complete or just kind of go to the exit and not really risk your, I guess, progress with the game. It's very much a roguelike in that regard, 2D platformer, very fun game. Let's get into it as soon as possible and get the ball rolling here. Jumping into the middle of nowhere. And apparently we have debt over here hanging out. How you doing, buddy? So we got no head, just a body. That's all we are. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna offer us a head or two. And this is gonna essentially indicate how much HP and what kind of abilities you'll have for this run. Here I've unlocked like a big head. This one has three HP to start off with. Here's the one you originally start off with. That's gonna be five HP. It seems like it makes you smaller and a bit quicker as well, if I'm right. So right now we have five HP. This is the one that I normally roll with. But if we want to check the one up top over here as well, let me go ahead and pick that up. Bring that head over here to me. You see, 3 HP, and we do look a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if there's any other sort of upside to the using this head, but um, there you guys have it. But I'm going to rock the one with 5 HP because I take a lot of damage in this game, so more HP is a lot better for me. Over here is our gun. Oh, I've unlocked the shotgun completely now? How about that? Okay, you know what? Here I picked up a little backpack. This is going to be an item that lets you be able to completely refill your ammunition on the fly, which is really good because you have to kind of conserve your ammunition in this game to some degree. Um, so this along with the shotgun is a really good combination because the shotgun only has like seven bullets in the clip. So you run out of bullets really easily with this, but with the backpack, it can kind of help you out quite a bit. So you know what? We'll do this run over here. Alrighty, so we'll talk more about Goner here as we go forward. I'll talk more about the... Um, basics of the game. There's a lot of secrecy when it comes to this game. Nothing's really explained to you, so you kind of have to figure it out on your own over here. Okay. And, as you can see, it's kind of like a Twitch platform jumper as well, so I'll constantly be like, you know, ah, 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 as I'm doing stuff. Now, that purple item we just picked up right now, that is going to be essentially your currency in the game. You're going to be using that to either revive yourself when you die completely, or at, you know, buy stuff at the um, shops and stuff like that. Ah, okay. Almost got stuck here. Um, so keep in mind- oh, Jesus Christ, that's what I meant about dying. Now, when you take a hit, you will lose a heart, and you lose your head. If your body takes damage once your um, head's unattached to it, you die instantly. It doesn't matter how many hearts you have, so you definitely want to make sure you don't take any damage when your body's just running around by itself. Now, if you've noticed something in the upper right corner, those little skulls up there, now, we'll talk about those here pretty soon. Those are somehow, I want to say, linked to the combo system of the game. Whenever you get a number of kills, like say five, you will unlock extra currency drops and you will also unlock different exits to the stages. This right here is an exit to the stage. So sometimes it'll unlock like a bonus stage or something like that. So that's one of the secrets I found in this game, but um, it's like the most basic one. Normally, an easy way to kind of do this is like find a place like this with a bunch of enemies and have like the shotgun or maybe even the... Well, I don't have the item right now. Oh, thank you. But there is indeed a um, an ability that replaces the backpack that we have right now. It's like a shark fin. And what that lets you do is let you shoot... Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about you, you jerk. It lets you shoot for a while without using any ammunition. Really, really good item, especially if you mix it up with the shotgun. Really good way to clear rooms easily. There you go. Speaking of which, so we were able to fill up that little um, upper right corner skull thing, and now this over here popped up. This right here would be our exit, but now we unlocked a little bit of a bonus stage, I think, is what this is. So, let's jump in here and check this out. Now, if I'm correct, what you're supposed to do is kind of like levitate down while picking up currency as you go along the way. You can jump on top of enemies to give you like a bit of a boost. Like so! Ah, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Instantly over. But you saw the worm underneath, right? The worm essentially is trying to catch you to bring you to the proper stage you have to go to afterwards, so... 
We did pretty poor on that one, but I just wanted to kind of show it off. It's a lot more difficult to play this when I'm explaining stuff as opposed to when I'm just playing it. But, um, well, if you enjoy this, by the way, let me know. And, um, I feel like covering this for a couple of videos. We haven't played, like, a really good roguelike on the channel for a while, and I've kind of gotten that little roguelike itch. So if you guys do enjoy, let me know in the comments about leaving a like, and we'll play a little bit more of this as we go forward here. And once I stop explaining what I'm doing, it should be a lot easier for me to play and actually just kind of, like, have our regular flow of commentary here. But because the game's a bit cryptic, I figure it's probably best to give you guys a bit of a rundown. This over here is going to be a kind of like a chest. If we need some HP, which we actually do, step on it, fill ourselves back up. Alrighty. So let's see here. We have Sonic Hedgehog Man. We have Worms. Now, Sonic Hedgehog Man can indeed hurt you if you jump on him when he's doing his little, like, um, retractable spikes type of uh, defense. But he's not doing it right now, which we're fine. Let me use my backpack, as you can see. By using my backpack item, I instantly reloaded my clip. So we're a little bit low on, on bullets, and I'm not sure when we're getting some more. Hey, you want to jump down here? Buddy? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, you know what? I egged him on to do it as well. I'm not even sure how, considering the fact I was egging it on. That even hit me! Stop! Like, it's not so easy, you know? Like, he suddenly just drops out of nowhere, even though you're kind of egging it on. It's kind of like, you know, I'll do it when I'm ready. And then when you're least expecting, that's when he's ready. Oh, good God. What, are you blocking the, the, the shotgun now, you jerk? Okay. Stop. We're fine. We're fine. More bullets here. And luckily, our little backpack already kind of reloaded, so we're fine. If we needed some bullets on the fly. Uh, we might actually see the first boss here with this run. I'm hoping we do. Yeah! Alright, the boss is coming up, actually, right now. I, I have beat him before. A few times. I usually die in the next world over, though. So, um, it's a roguelite, you know, it's one of those games that you play for a while until you finally really master. It's like Spelunky, as I mentioned earlier, you know. With Spelunky, you started off, you thought you were, like, pretty good in the first few levels. You make it to the second world, which is a jungle level, and you die. And then you just gotta, like, learn that, eventually make it to the ice world, so on and so forth. Um, so here, this is our shop. We have six, like, um, purple currency, whatever you want to call it here. If you talk to the shopkeeper, this will re-roll everything on the shop available to you at the moment. The only thing I really want to pick up right now is going to be the, the fin. Now, this is going to cost me how much? One? Very good. We now have the shark fin unlock also as a startup item as well. Now, as I mentioned with the fin, it lets you shoot unlimitedly for a while, but we do lose the ability to reload our clip on the fly with the backpack. And that might hurt us a bit with the shotgun, but we'll give it a try, especially with this boss fight here. You don't have any hearts for sale, do you? I can re-roll for one, and no. I'm going to re-roll again because at this point, if I die, I don't think I'll be able to revive. I don't have enough currency to revive on the fly. Here's the extra heart. How much does this cost? Three? Perfect. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, so we're broke now. If we die, we can't revive. We have to start from the start. But it normally takes like around five tokens to revive, depending on the run itself. So it kind of really seems to vary. I'm not even sure how to tell you how that works out. So here's our very first boss, I guess. Okay. Now the boss here technically is these big dudes who will charge at you over and over. I'm getting very lucky at the moment they're kind of leaving me alone. Let me get this. Let me use my ability now. <laughs> no, no. Where, where am I, where's my body? Stop. I think two, two of them are dead. Oh, baby, we got him. It's not really a hard fight. It's just kind of like really tricky because there's a bunch of like regular mob dudes just running around, which can kind of screw you up because you're not sure if it's the ones that dive down or the ones that kind of just run around. But relatively easy boss fight. Um, actually went a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm happy about that. And it does seem that you can stun that boss when it kind of rushes one of the heads at you. If you shoot him, it does just stop in his tracks, which is very helpful. So over here is going to be the entry point to the next world over, but before we go over there, if you come over here, you meet this giant head over here, which I can't tell you what this is, but it does give you... It gave me a bit more clips to my... It gave me some more ammunition to my clip, it does seem, and it also reload your ammunition at the same time, and it doesn't matter how hurt you are, he'll continue to give you hearts as you fill back up. Again, how does this play into the story? I have no idea, but um, there he is. And he's done me a good favor. Now we're going to the second world, which is normally where I die, so here is where I'll probably perish. But, you know, if you guys enjoyed, again, we'll come back and check more of this out for another video or two. Alrighty. Now we have a different set of enemies now, with different characteristics altogether. So. 
first and foremost. Oh, the shotgun pushes you back a bit. You know what? I've been using this for a while. I didn't even notice that. That can be a problem in this world. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is there is a lot of gaps like this down to your debt. If you fall down there, there is no heart. So you instantly die. And if you don't have enough currency to revive, it's over for you for good. So because of all the pits here, this is more of a dangerous world, especially if you want to kill all these dudes. Oh my god, I just realized there's a, there's a new skull up there. Can I get up there? Oh no! No, I don't think I can get up there! Okay, hold up, hold up. We gotta get up there somehow. That's a new skull for me. You know what? I don't think I could do it. Maybe... No, even with the guys that were hanging out over here, I don't think I could just bounce off of them up here. How would I get up here? I can't use the worm to ricochet, right? No. Dude, I think... Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. We're fine. Yeah! Yes! New skull! I have never gotten this one before. Oh, no, it's not a new skull. It's a backpack. <gasps> no, I, I lost my... My shark fin's gone to the ether! No! Well, I thought this was a new hat, or a new head for us, but it's not. What the hell do you do? Well, let's use it well, well, let's use it now. Well, actually, wait, wait. <laughs> Before we use it, let me get in an area where I won't fall to my dead. Uh, which is just about everywhere. Alright, let's just do it here. Okay, what do you do? Um, I don't know. Area of attack, maybe? It does reload relatively quickly. Okay, well, we'll check it out. Are you an area of attack, or are you kind of like a way to distract enemies? I'm not sure. Let's give it a try right now. Ah! What the fudge? Oh no! Yo, where's my... Guys. Guys. I think my gun just fell to the ether. I am so salty as fuck right now. I am... Oh, there's a gun over here, thankfully. Give me this. I lost my item, though. I lost that whatever the hell that was, we lost it. What happened there? I have no idea. Oh, you know what happened? Okay. Remember how I mentioned characteristics? These enemies actually blow up after they've taken some damage. So I used that. I heard them and they blew up. Okay, that's what happened. Okay. Alrighty. This, I hate this world so much. This is the reason why I die. Because normally it's not because of the enemies themselves. It's what they do after you kill them. Yeah, they blow up that way. Get away! You just get away from me! Okay. Well, the gun that we have now is a laser, which is actually pretty, pretty baller, so I'll take that. See, the problem here is that these guys blow up, so... <laughs> Why are you so aggressive? Stop it! Ah, that disappeared. Okay. Yeah, baby, baby. Die, please. Okay, good. So, they get aggro on you, and then you hit them again, and they go back to the regular pattern. Okay, well... This is actually really good information because I need to learn about these guys because I don't know shit about them right now. <laughs> okay, you guys shoot. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, you're dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Alrighty. You, I, I want to kill you too, though. <laughs> I lost my head again. I... You know what? I don't have. I got nobody to blame but myself right now. I, I'm. I'm. I'm upset. Yes, but I only have myself to blame for fucking around with these guys. I should have just. Left. Oh, good. And that's what I mentioned, by the way. If you have no head, you die instantly after one hit. Doesn't matter how many hearts you have. I am so <laughs> upset right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's visit dead. Here you'll go back, you get to start with the uh, type of um, loadout you want here. I am pretty salty. Uh, but luckily we have, now have the laser, regular gun, and the shotgun available. So, I, I don't like you too much, I'll be honest with you. Or maybe I do. I kind of like the laser though, let's check out the laser. And you, my friend, give me... give me a small little head. <laughs> ah, never say that to anybody that you don't know properly. Especially if you're out in public. Oh, yeah, and just, I'll take the little head if you don't mind. Anyway, let's go down over here. Let's give this one more run before we wrap up here for today. Ah, oh, we were having such an amazing run too, and I screwed it all up. Let's let's test this out. I do take damage regardless of which, unless something fell on me. Fuck! <laughs> I was not ready to go in there just yet. Okay, if this actually hurts me when I use it, I'm never going to use this in my life ever again. It does hurt me. It's it's essentially like a... It's a good attack, but it hurts you quite a bit when you use it, huh? 
Okay, so it's kind of like uh, you sacrifice some of your HP for some overall damage. Okay. Can you um, please just stop being a jerk right now, flying dude? I changed my mind about this laser too. Like a laser should be able to kill this guy in one hit, you know? It's just piercing through his entire body. Like, give me a break here. Alrighty. Well, bad start. That's okay. I'll recover. Maybe I could find that shotgun again. I already missed the shotgun so much. Love my one-hit kills. Alright, just bounce around. Get these kills here. And... Do it again. Some currency build-up here, which is fine. I really need to get rid of this um, item, because I know I'm going to use it when I'm not... I know I'm going to use it when I'm not expecting it, and I'm going to blow myself up. Okay. Oh, God. I don't like this weapon at all. Everything about this run is not something I'm enjoying too much right now. Let's get on the floor. Okay. Currency, that's cool. Bring you down. Alrighty. Everything's cool. Although, I will admit... It is actually pretty good when it comes to conserving ammunition. It does seem like we have a lot of that going on here at the moment. And for combos, it's amazing if you have enemies lined up. As we can all see here at the moment. It's actually really good for um, ammo. You know why? Because since you're combo killing everything, it does drop more um, items for you all, oh, Fudge! Didn't see that guy. Stupid... Stupid slug dude. I need to come over here. I need to grab my weapon and item. Actually, keep the item. Just keep the goddamn item. I don't even want it anymore. Jesus Christ almighty, I did. And this is how you use your um, coins to revive, in a sense. It'll start you off in the same very level with all the items you had initially. Okay, so I, I won't cut off just yet. I died, luckily, at the coins for it. We'll take another spin at it. You do start off in the same very level you're at, though. The layout might change a little bit, but you're still in the... Actually, that's no, the same layout, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think. Ugh, this laser, man. Like, I enjoy the combo of it, but it's very unreliant for, like, consistent damage. Like, if somebody's in your face coming at you and you shoot them, chances are you won't kill them. <laughs> uh -huh. You see? Like, somebody's just kind of phases right through them. All right, come here. Is it just me, or does this guy, little, this little dude flying at you remind you of um, Patamon from Digimon? Like, you know, apparently if you piss him off more, he will turn into Angemon or something. Are those the right names? I hope so. I haven't watched Digimon in ages, but... Back then when I did, let me tell you, that was my jam, bro. Alright. Oddly enough, you can jump on Sonic's head here over and over. It's only when his little... He's in his little retreat mode that it actually hurts you. Alrighty. This is really not my game style. This slow and meticulous. I'd rather just go fast and shoot everything, but... My combination of items is really... Not allowing me to do that. Here we go. Yep. No. Die. Okay. Cool. Next one. I really should there's like an, a little thing that would tell you like what level you're at. Oh, we're at the boss fight again. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Um, let's see. We have five currency. Um, yes, please. Give me, as a matter of fact... I think the shark fin and the laser could actually combine for a really cool combination. Uh, let me go to get some ammunition, fill myself up here, and... Well, if I die, I'm not gonna revive. I don't have enough currency for that. So let's give this a go here, and see how the combination works of the shark fin and the laser itself. Pretty good. Ah! No, 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 no! Did you get your head ready? Where's my head? Okay, I think I think I got my head! Fuck you! Did that charge attack? It's so annoying! No! And that's what I meant about this boss fight. It's relatively easy if you contain it from a side, but the moment you hit the floor, it becomes anarchy, and the moment it hits your body with that little helmet, it's basically game over. So it can be a really tricky fight. We don't have enough currency to revive over here. Damn! Damn! I took care of the little small mobs, but the big dudes, the moment they start charging at you, and the thing is, you can't stun those when they're charging at you. With the shotgun, you can stun. When they charge you with the laser, it just pierces right through. Really cool to know. Alrighty, well, there you guys have it. We'll come back for another episode of this, because I do enjoy it, and I feel like I gotta play more of this to kind of get better, but um, at least this will give you a little bit of a breakdown. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.